The ultimate justification for war in traditional society is the chance of achieving heroism. War allows the individual to exit his monotonous life of consumption and gives him the possibility to awaken the hero sleeping inside of him. Through denying his self-preservation instinct during combat and subjugating himself to harsh conditions during month and year long campaigns, man achieves spiritual elevation which benefits him in this world and the next. This prospect has motivated people to expose themselves to the horrors of war over and over again. Throughout history, war was always interconnected with religion and was viewed as having spiritual connotations. The ancient Romans believed that divine forces both made possible and protected the military greatness of the empire. They attributed the victory of their leaders less to their simply human attributes than to a transcendent force manifesting itself through them. Some Roman generals, such as the consul Decius, are known to have practiced a ritual called Devotio, in which the general vows to sacrifice his life in a forthcoming battle in exchange for victory. One of the best known warrior traditions of the world is that of the Muslim Arabs. For the Bedouins of the Arab desert, Jihad, Holy War and Path to God are interchangeable terms. This martial tradition did not however develop fully independently. The concept of the holy soldier was present in the earlier civilizations of the Indo-European world. The ancient Persians viewed life as a never-ending struggle between light and darkness, in which the religious man served as a holy soldier. The notion of glory and self-sacrifice on the battlefield is also present in Hindu scripture as can be seen in the words of Krishna to Arjuna, found in the Bhagavad Gita. Either you will be killed on the battlefield and attain the heavenly planets, or you will conquer and enjoy the earthly kingdom. Therefore, get up with determination and fight. <laughs>